Hey there, guys and girls. Don't forget the girls. We are going to make an object that's going to move randomly over the terrain in this video. Go to the hierarchy window, make a nav mesh, right click, game object, and let's add a cube. Okay? Let's reset that cube to the center of the game universe, which is up here in the sky somewhere. Then also let's make the cube a little bit bigger so it's easy to see from far away. 555, five, five. that's easier, right? <clears throat> and now, um, see how the cube's kind of up in the sky? Right here in the transform window, just put my mouse over the letter Y, press the mouse button, the left mouse button down, and then I just move in the minus direction. And as you can see, the shadow, it's getting closer to the ground. I just want to bring this object right next to the ground, but not through it. Okay. Then I want to add a component to it. I want to add a navigation nav mesh agent. That's the uh, second thing I need. The first thing I needed, I did in another video, was built baking a nav mesh. Press bake and you get a nav mesh. And the second thing I need to make this randomly moving object is for the object itself to have a nav mesh agent. And you know what? Let's call this um, object something better than Q. Let's call it um, random mover. Okay, that way we could see it and know what we're talking about when we see it in the window down here. Um, random mover, press enter. And there you go, the name changed to random mover. I have a nav mesh agent. The third thing I need is a script. So I'm going to add component again on the random mover. Scroll to the bottom here and I have this new script. Click it. And uh, I'm going to give it a name of the script. Um, Ran, random mover. Okay. Create an ad. And here it is, random mover script. Now I'm going to want to edit the script. I'm going to have to give it some code to do the random movement. So I double click and it opens up my random mover script. It's showing it, me right, showing it to me right here. Now I don't want you guys to have to type everything. So um, we're going to go get the script from the internet, from the Mr. Santiago's video game developer camp site. This is the URL. And we're going to go to our camp session of March 2017. And here we have all the different days. Um, we're on day three, so open up that folder. And here we are we're making a game object that will move randomly. And here's the script that we want. So I'm just going to click on this. It's going to show the script <clears throat> in another window. All right. Then on a Windows computer, I'm not sure what you do on a Mac. I'll just press Control A to select all the text. Make sure my mouse is over some of the selected text, the blue area, and say copy. Now I can go back to my script here in Unity. Over here I'm going to press Control A and delete all of that. And then I'm going to paste in the code I copied from the internet. <clears throat> this way I don't have to type it. It's already typed for me. Okay, now Something is wrong. I have these red lines. That means something's wrong. That's because there's one more step I have to do. When we're going to copy scripts from um, the Game Camp site, we're going to have to make sure that the name of the script matches the name of the class here, right at the top. Public class. The one online said move randomly over terrain. And here we named the file random mover, so let's just change that. Random mover. Boom. And save. <clears throat> and that's better. That got rid of all those red lines. Red lines mean there's something wrong. So did I save? Yes, I did. 
I saved around in the script. Now I go back over here. I have my script. I have my nav mesh agent. I have my nav mesh that I baked on earlier by pressing bake. Now let's see what happens when I press play. Um, one thing before I press play, let me make sure the camera is lined up with my view. So I'm going to select main camera, game object align with view. <clears throat> and let's see if this thing moves around randomly. I press play, give it a while to start up, and are you going to move? Oh, 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 yes he is. He's moving somewhere. And then when he gets to wherever that somewhere is, he'll probably pick, pick another spot to move to randomly. And look how slow he's moving, his little slow baby. All right. You know, we can control the speed that he moves at. Click random mover. Um, the nav mesh agent that we added to him has properties <clears throat> like speed. Okay, so there the speed 3.5. We saw how fast 3.5 looks. I'm going to make him go a little faster and see what it looks like. I'm going to say 20. Is that too fast? I don't know. Let me press play and find out. Here, I press play, and it's getting ready to go, and whoop, he turns, and there, he's moving a little faster. Where's he going? Where you going, little guy? Ooh, he's going off into the field somewhere. This is the game view. I could also still look at my scene view when um, the game is playing. I could look at the scene view. And see a little bit more information. I can change the movement. And here, game view is locked to the view I set the camera to. But anyway, you can see he's there moving around all by himself. Isn't that great? I can control the speed. This is awesome. Now I'm going to do something. I'm just going to drag and drop him into. Well, that's the end of this video. I'll leave it. No, no, that's not the end of this video. You know what? I better explain the script a little bit that we just used. What was in that script that made this guy walk around so nicely? Let's see. <clears throat> when we first added a script by default, it had these things already. And when we copied it from the internet, the website, it had this new line, Unity Engine AI. And I put a comment here that says, for nav mesh. Now, anything that I type in the script window, the, the, um, Visual Studio is going to try to think of it as like code. And if it doesn't know what I'm typing, it's going to have a little squiggly underlying under it. Because this, it doesn't know what it is. It kind of goes off and doesn't know what this is either. But if I put forward slash, forward slash for a line, then anything on this line becomes a comment, becomes something that is ignored by the code and just there for me to read, you know? So this would be a comment that uses, you know, two forward slashes. And that only works for the line. So if I go to the next line, I press enter. This is a new line over here, enter. Then um, I have to put a comment again to say, ignore that line. So you're going to see in the code that I kind of used comments to say what parts of the code are doing. Um, over here, these are variables. They are, um, whenever you see the word bound, as you can see here, it's appearing in the code. It's just going to hold numbers. And wherever you see the word nav, it's going to hold information too. So nav is going to be referencing our nav mess agent from here. Here in Unity, we attached a nav mess, a nav mesh agent and then here in the code we want to like use the nav mesh agent so we're going to have a little variable for it and then in the start event this function is an event like when the game starts this is going to get called i'm going to set my nav variable equal to my component's nav mesh agent the one that we saw on the screen in unity and then this code here is just doing, it's just checking to see if we have a terrain in the scene, which we do, you know, all those mountains and hills and the trees and everything, that's a terrain. And if we have a terrain in the scene, then it's just going to get the size of the terrain. 
like its width, height, and everything, like the whole area that's the terrain. And you know why we need that? Is so we could pick a random point over the terrain. There's this other event function here called update. What update does is it gets called over and over and over again. After you press the play button, this just loops around and around and calls every time a chance it gets. And what it's going to do is it's going to see at, at any time, hey, did the random mover, did the cube reach the point that I told it to go to with this function that I write? And if it did, then this function is going to return a value of true. And if it um, returns a value of true, I'm going to pick a new point for it to go to randomly. All right, so that's another function I wrote. It, 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 it picks a point over the terrain, whether it's on a hill or like at the bottom somewhere, but it's on the top of the terrain, and it picks a random point and gives it back to me in this variable point as this vector 3. Then on the nav object, the nav mesh agent, all I have to do is say for the nav mesh agent, set this as your destination. And as soon as I call this line, as soon as this line runs, the little cube is going to start running to that point. Um, this is some code to figure out if I reach the point that was set here. <clears throat> and this is the code to pick a random location over the terrain. Okay. Hmm. Well, we could talk about it in class. 